I understand some of you like the whole arts and crafts thing, especially the stuff that's interactive with uh, kids that kids can get involved with. So I'm going to show you something right now. It gets a little messy, so you might want to hire a cleanup crew like I did. This is my uh, cleanup crew. If you got one, bring them in the room. Because it's kind of get messy. Um, this is another origami video, but this one... Paper's a little bit boring and really not too fun with kids, so I have some mashed potatoes here. It's very important that they are mom's mashed potatoes, because other mashed potatoes just don't have the right consistency. So you want to make sure that you have mom's mashed potatoes. It doesn't matter who's mom. <laughs> Believe me, I'm in someone's garage. I don't know whose house this is, but I do know that a mother, someone's mother, baked these. And uh, someone's dog. Is going to clean up fun. So, what you do is you just kind of remember it's origami, so you want some nice flat pieces. I'm very good at this. I'm uh, pretty much a certified expert. I haven't received my card yet, but I, I will be certified one day. So, if you aren't as good as me, just kind of improvise along the way. Imagine what you would like it to look like, and then make it look that way. So there, now we have a nice box. Not sure if you can see with the lighting, but it's nice. After you have it made, you have to test its durability and its artisticness. The best way to test this is you can call someone else in the room, but considering I don't really know the people who live here, kind of scared on what's on the other side of that door, I am going to use the backup test to determine how good my box is. Okay. okay. So as you can see, it's a very good box. It passes the test. And that's it. It's mashed potatoes or a box.